It is my privilege to introduce the student speakers for tonight's service. I will be introducing all the student speakers and then each will come up in that order. Our first speaker is Grace Eun Sun Lee from the Hamilton campus. Grace is a graduate of the Master of Divinity program with a focus on world missions. During her time at the Hamilton campus, she has been known as the mustard seed girl, the pineapple girl, or the girl from the Philippines. These themes have been reoccurring in her, in her work and participation in worship, chapel, lectures, publications, as well as student-led programs. When Grace first arrived at Gordon-Conwell back in 2018, she arrived with a desire to become a missionary wherever God calls her. She now graduates with the confidence in knowing she is already living the missional life commissioned as God's chosen worshiper for the nations. Four years ago, I had just arrived from Asia. I was extremely jet lagged. I did not know what to expect. I traveled all, all around the world, but Massachusetts was unfamiliar ground. Completely uprooting myself, entering new territory to start again because I knew God was calling me here. All this was new. After two long orientation weeks, I remember my first worship service. We gathered in alumni hall. I sat towards the back because I was shy and I did not know many people. I saw the worship team at the front and I immediately noticed how diverse the team was. The worship leader invited people to come up to the microphone and to sing the song, God is so good in their native language. I never witnessed anything like it before. Fast forward four years, a few weeks ago, I attended one of my last chapel services in Kaiser Chapel. Before me and around me, I heard the song, God is so good, sung in African languages I never heard, I never knew in my life. And hearing this simple song again, I felt like I came back in full circle. I saw my four years in Gordon Conwell unravel like a movie before my eyes. First year grace, I have two words associated with it, culture shock. I have two more words associated with it, the wilderness. All that was familiar was stripped away. My second year, I learned to find my voice. I heard other voices and I planted new desires, new dreams. Then the pandemic happened. My third year, still the pandemic continues. I was brokenhearted and silenced. I went into hiding to heal, to grieve, to lament. And in the hiding, I learned to forgive and to surrender. And my fourth year, I came out of hiding, I started singing again. I forgave more, I listened more. I was part of pioneering work. And now as I graduate, I am passing on the baton. My time in seminary has reflected the seasons of New England weather. <laughs> in the midst of these four turbulent years, the phrase I sang most often was, God is good. Even in the wilderness, God is good. Even in sickness, God is good. Even in weakness, God is good. Even in brokenness, God is good. Even in the separation, God is good. And even in the isolation, God is good. Yes, in health and strength and prosperity in death or life, God is good. And all the time, God is good. And God is good all the time. And so, this is my short story. 
my short song during my time here to testify the goodness of the Lord. And I know my story is not my own, for I had the privilege to sing this song with many of you. In fact, I believe the beauty of a song is to be able to sing with one another. Songs bring us together and remind us that we are part of something greater, bigger than us. And we may have different vocal ranges, and that's great. Some of you may not consider yourself a singer, and that's okay. I know we got some dancers in the room. You are still part of this song. Students, families, friends, staff and faculty, all of us here are part of a greater song. Fellow classmates, what is the song you sang the most during your time in seminary? And what is the song you would like to sing in the next season? To all beloved Gordon-Conwell community, what is your next song? And I don't know what your next song will be. Maybe it will be Revelation 19 where we sing hallelujah, salvation and glory, honor and power unto the Lamb of God. Whatever song God is teaching you, teaching us, may our songs bring glory to his name. Amen. These are just four students. I'd like to have a camp or a conference and listen to all of our graduates. I'm amazed at the quality of your Thanksgiving, the way that you've integrated what you've learned, and the way that the humility is remarkable. I'm thankful to be at Gordon-Conwell and to have you represent us in the world. Thank you very much. We're now going to have an anthem sung by our chapel choir, which comes together four or five times a year. And so, and our, 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 I think our soloist is Justin, right? Worship God with us. Wonderful. 